We're at Brooklyn Botanic Garden Visitor Center and we're here to talk about stormwater management best practices. When we talk about stormwater management, we're basically talking about different ways that we capture rainwater. In addition to being beautiful, this living roof absorbs stormwater, which irrigates its growing plants. And this reduces the overflow of uh, stormwater into the sewers below. This 9,400 square foot roof is home to 40,000 plants which include a large variety of natives. And the reason that we love having so many native plants on this roof is that it makes it also home to many local species. So it really has created its own unique little ecosystem up there. A green roof also provides really efficient insulation to the building below, and it extends the life of the roof as well as absorbing what would otherwise turn into storm water and creates a living environment that is really healthy for the neighborhood. What really makes this visitor center so unique and our design for it so unique is that it was planned to integrate this living green roof along with the rain gardens that are planted below it. A rain garden is a garden of native shrubs, perennials and flowers planted in a small depression, which is generally formed on a natural slope. The purpose of a rain garden is to temporarily hold water runoff. You want to make sure that whatever plants you choose for your rain garden can really tolerate a sort of drought and drench lifestyle. All you need is a shovel and you know to start digging and you can use the materials you have available on site like the gravel that was washing down off this site and into the drain we ended up using as the basin of our rain garden and the sand that washed down as well um, helps to you know filter water through it because of the pore size. Another example of stormwater management techniques is a bioswale. A bioswale is a linear, sloped retention area designed to convey water, allowing it to infiltrate into the ground and prevent erosion. And both the swale and the rain garden do the same thing, essentially, where they convey water. So the water is meant to just sort of stand there and slowly be conveyed into the earth below it. This soil is so compacted, then we just took a pickaxe and started digging. The total depth between a foot and a foot and a half, and that's where we sunk a perforated pipe. The basin of the swale is gonna, you know, pretty much be wet for most months of the year, so you really have to choose plants that are able to take up a lot of water throughout their growth period. For more information, please visit grownyc.org.